So for this first exercise, one of the best cues that really helps me engage my lats versus my biceps is to think of pulling down with your elbows versus like pulling down with your biceps this way. You're leading with the elbows to really engage that lower lat. That helps me so much with the reverse grip pull down. So if you find that you're feeling it a little bit too much in your biceps, then maybe it'll help you too. But that's the first exercise. <laughs> So my second exercise is the single arm seated row. I love unilateral variations of rows. I feel like when you get that little extra rotation as you stretch, it just makes all the difference with the lat engagement for me personally. So I love a seated row with two hands, but I love switching it up and doing it unilaterally, unilaterally as well. <laughs> We're gonna move on to some more single side work with some one-arm dumbbell rows next. For the cable rope pull through, I'm doing four sets of 12, 10 to 12 reps. And the key here is the upper body is at a high diagonal. You're making sure your core is engaged. You're getting that full stretch at the top of the exercise to really stretch those lats. And then bringing down again, leading with those elbows. It's all about the stretch and the squeeze. This is our penultimate exercise. We have one more and then we're done with this workout. Let's get it done. last exercise these inverted rows and I'm treating it just like any other row variation almost like a row combined with a pull-up 
So because my body, again, is at a diagonal angle, when I'm pulling my chest toward the bar, I'm fully engaging that middle back like I would with the row variation. I'm doing about 10 to 12 reps for three sets with 30 seconds rest in between. It's a perfect little burnout for back day. I love adding these in just to get a little more isolation in that middle back. So let's finish strong. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that workout. Definitely take that one to the gym with you. It's so good. I'm gonna type it up and put it in the description box as well so you can screenshot it. But definitely watch the full workout. I added in a couple of cues and tips that really have been helpful for me, so maybe they'll help you as well. Just really optimize your back training. So I just got home from the gym a little while ago. I trained legs. It was such a good workout. I did 10 minutes on the Stairmaster afterwards, and then I came home and took Riggs on a nice long walk. So I'm, I'm a little gassed. I'm going to the Sixers game tonight, so I'm gonna show you guys my fit that I'm wearing to the game. I'll probably keep it casual, but cute as well. I got a poke bowl, a salmon and spicy tuna poke bowl from Whole Foods for dinner. So I'm gonna eat that, I'm so excited. Tomorrow, I'm going to do a physique update. I also got this super cute PR package from Good Molecules. I use their Yerba Mate Wake Up Eye Gel. So I'm so excited, they sent me some PR. This niacinamide brightening toner, hyaluronic acid serum, and a facial oil, which I feel like all of this is so good for me right now. They also sent a cleansing balm, but I took it upstairs because I'm going to try it right now. Take my makeup off. Shout out to Good Molecules. Their stuff is so affordable. I believe it's sold at Ulta, but definitely check it out. It's good, good stuff, good ingredients. We love it. The sun is shining. So I'm gonna hop in the shower since I just went to the gym and I'm going to the basketball game later. So I'm gonna use, this was the other, I cannot see that, hold on. As much as I love the sunshine, that was a bit much, so. <laughs> This is the other product that they sent me, and I love a good cleansing balm. You just put it on your skin while it's dry, and then I'm gonna hop in the shower and wash my face with my regular face wash, but this stuff always just like melts the makeup right off, so we're gonna test it out. This is not sponsored. So I usually start with my eye makeup melting right off. Look at that. So I think the point of these is that it's supposed to be gentler than like using a makeup wipe. I don't know. I just feel like I always double cleanse. So this is like a cleansing balm. I have this oil by Innisfree green tea cleansing oil. So I will use this sometimes. And then I have one from Burst skincare as well. Um, so I, use, I have a few different cleansing balms because I always, always double cleanse. Look at that. I will hop in the shower, obviously get my face wet, do my normal face wash, and then your skin just feels extra, extra, extra clean, especially if you've been wearing makeup. I highly recommend a double cleanse. So I'm going to hop in the shower and I'll be right back. My face feels very clean. This is good stuff. So cute too. Okay, to finish out this vlog, I'm gonna give you guys a really quick update on how my cut has been going. I just included some clips of the type of physique update little videos that I do. I just do those for myself every week so that I can see pictures. I take pictures and then I also like to see video. When I first gave you guys that week one recap, I had mentioned that 
it was that time of the month for me and of course I just got it again because we're like a month later already. Every time I am PMSing, I always hold a lot of water. So I try not to weigh myself during that time period and I just, you know, hydrate and do all the things to take care of myself. I get really, really bad cramps. So my training also scales back during the time that I'm PMSing because my body is literally like already working overtime. So I do more low intensity stuff when I'm right at that time frame where I know that it's about to happen, where it's about to come. I'm like just on the other side of that now. So I'm ready to sort of kick things up a notch again. I'm gonna change my macros this week. I've been eating a good amount of food. I really wanna take this slow and steady, do it really healthy. So I'm in no rush. I kinda wanna drag this out over a longer period of time. The Arnold is this week, so of course, I'm gonna be on point with my diet and my cardio and my training and everything. I'll leave for Columbus later this week. I'm gonna do a pack with me for the Arnold vlog. Then we will have an Arnold weekend vlog after that. I'm really excited. My weight still does fluctuate from day to day, it's not like it's going consistently down. You know, sometimes there are these like little peaks and valleys where I'll go up a little bit and then down a little bit. So I am going to make changes to my macros. Like the only thing that will really be changing is carbs at this point. So I'm obviously still feeling good, eating a good amount of food, enjoying my meals. I'm feeling good. I'm excited to have a little bit of extra motivation this week knowing that the Arnold is this weekend. I always leave expo weekends feeling super motivated as well. So I just know once I get back home, I'm really going to want to like take things up a notch. I will be back with another vlog soon. We're going to pack for the Arnold cold weather stuff all the way, but I'm going to show you guys what I'm bringing with me and then I'll see you guys at the Arnold this weekend. I'm excited. So I'll see you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching this video. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you soon. Bye.